Hello, welcome back to Storytime at LST here at Little Scholars Tutoring. And my name is Miss Murphy, and I'm going to read a story to you today. Today's story is called Clifford Visits the Zoo. So I'd like for you guys to come along with me to uh, learn about different zoo animals. The author is Norman Bridwell. And today we actually have a little friend. We have Clifford here with us to uh, listen to the story. So here's our Clifford. Say hi to Clifford. Say hi, Clifford. Clifford says hi. So we're going to go ahead and put Clifford on the bookshelf while we're reading the story. There we go. All right. Clifford visits the zoo. I'm Emily Elizabeth, and this is my dog. His name is Clifford. Today, we are going to the zoo. So this is Emily Elizabeth, you guys, and this is her dog, Clifford. The people at the zoo have never seen anything like Clifford. Is Clifford big or small? Yeah, he's big. They've never seen a big red dog before. Everyone looks so surprised. Look at their faces. <laughs> so I tell them, Clifford is my dog and he's very friendly. So they gave him a pass that says visitor. You guys see that? Right here. And she said, he's very friendly. He's my dog. You guys have a friendly dog? I do. The first animals we see are penguins. The penguins are small and Clifford is very, very big. They were the penguins. Clifford's so big. Let's see what else we find at the zoo. What other animals do you see at the zoo? This one, I'm gonna give you a hint. It's furry and it's in the tree and it hugs the tree. Can you think? Oh, that's close. This is a koala. And the koalas are sleeping. And Clifford is wide awake. He does a silly dance because he's trying to wake up the koalas. <laughs> All right, next animal. Okay, this one is not an animal, you have to guess. It is actually an insect and it flies. What do you think it is? Oh, let's see if that's right. This page says, look at the butterflies. They are light as a feather. Not Clifford, he is heavy. You guys look at all the pretty butterflies. And Clifford is big and heavy. <laughs> That was good guessing. Oh, okay. Here's the next animal you have to guess. So this animal is in the mud and he likes the mud and he's big. Can you think? Oh, that's a good try. On this page, it says, then we see a hippo taking a mud bath. He is dirty. Clifford does not like that. He'd rather be clean. Here's the hippo taking a mud bath. Yeah. And here's Clifford. He likes to be clean. Yeah, I know. Well, at the San Antonio Zoo, the hippos are in the water, but hippos love the mud also. Oh, here's the next animal. This animal is furry and it is in a tree. 
and it makes a lot of noise. Yes, on this page, it says, what's that sound? It's the noisy howler monkeys. Clifford likes to be quiet and listen. Look at the monkeys, you guys. They're making a lot of noise and Clifford likes to listen. Yes, good job. Okay, here's another animal in the zoo. And the clue is they're furry, they're in the tree, and they move slow. Uh-huh, what do you think? <laughs> this page says, then we pass the sloths. They move slow, not like Clifford. Clifford moves quickly. Those are the sloths. Yes, the sloths move very slowly. Slower than I'm moving right now. I am slowly about to turn the page, but they're a little bit slower, like. <laughs> yes. All right. Oh, there's another animal you have to guess. This animal has a shell and they can go inside of their shell and their shell is hard. Yes, it's a turtle. Later, we see a tortoise. He has a hard shell, but Clifford is soft. You see that big turtle? Yes. If you haven't visited our Facebook page, uh, we um, have pictures of our students visiting um, some animals and a big turtle was one of the animals. So you have to visit our Facebook page. It was one of our camps. I think it was spring break camp. Yeah. Go visit us and check it out. The big tortoise. Here's the next animal. This animal is in a tree and it has feathers. It has feathers. <laughs> what is that animal? You guessed it. They're, they're birds and they're up high in the tree. But Clifford is, is not high in the tree. He's down. Aren't those birds pretty? Yeah. Clifford is down on the ground. All right, here's our next animal. And this animal is green. And you can find this animal in a tree. Mm, it has a tail and a tongue. What do you think it is? Oh my goodness. This one's kind of hard. This one is called the chameleon. The chameleon has a curly tail. And Clifford's tail is straight. See the chameleon? And Clifford's tail is straight. Okay. Finally, they visit another animal. You have to guess. It's in the water. And it has fins and tail. <laughs> what do you think it is? You have to guess. It is a seal. Seals, they get very wet. Clifford is dry. Uh-oh, now Clifford's wet. <laughs> yes. All right. Clifford is lots of things. He is big, he is fast, he is soft, and most of all, he is loved. It looks like Emily Elizabeth loves him and he loves Emily Elizabeth. Now, let's take a look at some of these animals together. Here we have penguins. 
Then there's the koalas. And there's the butterflies. And this talks about the monarch butterfly. You can pause and read it. Over here, we have the hippo. And we have the monkeys, the howler monkeys. Over here, we have the sloths, the tortoise, and the birds. And we also visited the chameleons and the seals. Okay. And that's the end, boys and girls. Thank you so much for joining Clifford and I in our story and visiting the zoo, learning about all, all of the animals. All right. You guys have a great day. I will see you on the next story time here at LST. Bye. <laughs>